Wow, what is that? You just never know what you're gonna see out here. Just people are hanging out. Check this out, right here to the side. We got four kayaks, a dude fishing. A lot of projects, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna do this on this date at this time. That's not the way my stuff works. I do my stuff when the weather permits. Today we've got sun, my guys are available. Uh, why else wouldn't we do a performance? So we're celebrating with music here in one of our beautiful public places in Minneapolis. Where do you wanna be? Do you wanna be inside of some black box or you know, some club or venue? Or do you wanna be doing your thing out here? Clouds, trees, river. All these beautiful things. That's that's what I want to be doing my art. I like being out in the city itself and just being part of being part of that that fabric. I want my art to be promoting things I feel passionately about. I am in love with bikes. That's that's how I get around. I'm a bicycle guy. You know, when you're on a bike, you're 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 open, you're able to say hello and see people. I think there's a lot more mm, direct contact. I like incorporating bicycles into my, my work. I use bicycles to generate electricity. I use bicycles to transport the stuff. My roots and a very large part of my art is in the sound realm. And now, I'm expanding and growing into lighting as well. Like a lot of my music that is really good at setting moods and just creating an environment, you can do the very same thing with lighting. My project is a mobile bicycle powered light sculpture and that'll include a variety of large geometric shapes that have got LED fixtures inside that are controlled by custom MIDI controllers that the audience and participants have direct access to, and they'll enable them to change the colors of the lighting that will be presenting during the winter at night out on top of the frozen lakes or at some of the community uh, ice rinks that we have around Minneapolis. I'm doing this to basically just spread some joy in the winter. I'll just make some spontaneous surprise out there that people can stumble upon or give them something to talk about put a smile on their face good afternoon minneapolis one of the uh key motivators behind this project is is promoting this uh city and the quality of life that we have here when i'm doing stuff out there when people see this they're like wow this is minneapolis i think when you put really exciting things out in the public where anyone can see it. it. It does say a lot about who the people are that are living in this town. If you don't have the public spaces or the people who are out enjoying those public spaces, you know, you wouldn't be able to put that art out there and have people appreciate it. I am not shy about my feelings for Minneapolis. To be one of those interesting elements in, in my home, in my city, that's, that's what I want my art to do. The research is, it's time to explore. These are all elements that I'm considering. We're out here experimenting out in my backyard tonight. These are par cans, which are typical theatrical lighting. Uh, big difference is that these are LED, uh, very low energy consumption, which will be a big consideration for me. I will be powering it with bicycle generators. This will be an outdoor project where the wind will uh, very much be affecting every element. I like, I like that. Now this guy, if I can just get it to stand upright, this I like a little bit. Sparkles inside. This is just two lights. Um, I'm thinking about using 12 to 15 of them. Well, this really will truly be a glowing sculpture. I've got these very dreamlike images of what this will be. It's a whole new set of tools that I'll be working with. Very, very fresh. I'm new to this. Haven't really done it before. 